This is a Galaxy 160,000 BTU steam border slant pin. This is um, how you put the near piping and header in. A lot of people are using copper. I'm gonna post this on my YouTube. You have to use the tapping size of the uh, border, two and a half inch, and then you make your header right here and your equalizer. And the return can come, if you can't go on the right side, goes around to the return of the bore. Now they claim they want two inch, but inch and a half is good for a certain BTU, which this is under under 200,000, so. But uh, if you ever come across this, you're gonna see here that at the end of the, uh, return in the main there's no vent I'm gonna put one I'm gonna drill the uh, pipe I'm gonna post that next on top of this video after I post this video so this system originally didn't have a main vent so when I understand it was uh, operating without a vent due to the coal fire they wanted the slower release of the air you can see there's no vent here so what you what I'm gonna do is we're gonna tap this pipe here right before these uh, second floor risers and put a main a Hoffman uh, 75 main vent. So if you ever encounter this, that's what you're gonna have to do because the newer boilers won't work. But you can see this is all insulated and there's no main vents. This is a one pipe steam system. This is uh, September 24th, 2020. And uh, you wanna put a, always have a drain at the bottom of your Hartford loop. One going into the bore and then your skimmer. This is the skimmer valve here. Cross view of the header. Two and a half inch to two inch. So that's how you put a steam boiler in. You don't use copper. Slant fin has a good boiler, heats up right away. Very efficient. As you can see, it's running, no banging. So this is a short video touching base on a one pipe steam system, how you put it in. There's not uh, a lot of people that are following the steel pipe criteria. It's uh, required.